What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Venom Shield boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky wires with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms right Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm excited to bring you a review of the Venom Shield boxing gloves. As you can see, I got these in the black and white color scheme. 14 ounces with the Velcro closure. Venom also makes these in a black and red as well as in a black and gold color scheme. And size-wise, you can get them from anywhere from 8 to 18 ounces. So depending on what kind of training you're doing, Venom does offer a good wide range of sizes, colors, and um, as well as a lace-up uh, lace closure as well. So both Velcro and lace-up. Uh, one thing about the lace-ups I did notice on Venom's website for all three of their new st style of pro boxing gloves is that the lace-ups um, are significantly more expensive uh, than the Velcro closure. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I'm not too sure. Um, typically, when I do see a price increase between, on the same model of gloves, it's because they either use uh, more fancier colors like metallics, so it, it takes a little bit more uh, money to, to actually do the color, the dye of the glove because of the, the type of color that it is, or even because it's Velcro closure and you're using more material for this strap. Um, but the, the lace-up versions of these gloves look pretty much identical other than the wrist section right here which has the laces and it's about $50 more so I'm not too sure what the thought process with that is with, with Venom uh, maybe because they're kind of more appealing to the uh, classic boxer uh, most traditional boxers like to use lace-up in their training um, and a lot of people like to use Velcro as well just because sometimes you don't have somebody there to lace up your gloves for you. So the Velcro obviously has the edge when it comes to convenience. So well, let's go over the five things. The first is going to be the glove design. Um, as you can see, like a lot of Venom products, they like to use really kind of loud graphics. Now it's not for everybody. Um, some people like the more classic, cleaner looking gloves that are, you know, maybe one or two colors with just maybe a logo in the middle. And that's about it. You might have the name on the back wrist here. Um, but Venom, um, you know, traditionally they use a lot of loud graphics. You can see that it has that Venom logo on the back right here. Um, you, ha you also have kind of the, it's kind of a leather rubber, I'm not going to say leather, but more of kind of like a rubberized leather material that is embossed on the back of the Velcro strap there. So you can see that the letters are embossed in there, so it has a nice texture to it. It says Venom Pro Boxing. And then uh, flipping it around on the palm side, you can see that it comes over. Uh, right at where their fingertips are at with the Venom logo as well. has kind of a pinstripe to kind of give it a, that racing stripe look to it. Um, you have the traditional grip bar. Um, one thing I do like is they, they put a lot of ventilated holes, more than usual that you see in a, in a traditional boxing glove. So you can see that they put a lot of ventilated holes there just to help with the breathability of the glove. Um, you do have a fully attached leather thumb right there. Um, you have the Cobra or the, the Venom logo on the thumb. And uh, you also have the weight right here. That's screen printed on. You have the logo right here. So for me, that's just a little excessive. Um, you know, I do like the logo on the thumb, but maybe if they just kind of kept less of the venom or the branding on it, I think it'd look a little bit cleaner. But again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, it has that standard leather uh, imprint that you see a, that a lot of gloves have on there as well. And then the inside uses that standard polyester nylon liner. Um, and so color scheme wise, it's pretty simple, just black and white. Um, the main color being black and the secondary color being white. Um, now the actual paint that's on this glove, or should I say um, this material, is almost like a dipped, kind of like a rubberized dip material that um, it's hard to explain. It's almost like if you were to get like an ice cream cone and you were to dip it in chocolate, and then the chocolate kind of sticks to the ice cream. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best analogy, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Or if you've ever used like Century, um, like sparring gear for like karate, it has that very rubberized coating on it, almost like plastic dip coating. This is what this coating reminds me of. It's not actually leather, um, and it's not part of the leather per se. It's not stitched together. It's just basically um, layered on top of the existing Napa leather um, itself. So quality wise, these gloves are very nice quality. Um, Venom uses a Argentinian Napa leather. Um, and this particular glove, the shield, really reminds me of the Giant 3.0 gloves that I did a review on, both in terms of the feel of the leather and the overall softness of it. So you can see that the leather itself 
is really smooth. It has a matte texture to it, and it is it's very soft touch. It's, it doesn't have a very um, a thick feel to it. It's not like Mexican style leather like Reyes or Casanova or New Sporting where it has a very thick grainy feel to it. This is very smooth uh, and it feels more lightweight and soft. I would compare um, this leather, I would probably say this is a little bit more comparable to so something like the, the, the fly gloves. Not saying that these are the same as fly, I'm just saying but the, the softness of it kind of reminds me of the fly boxing gloves. Um, you can see that the stitching is really nice throughout. You do have double stitching on the palm. I don't really see any loose stitching throughout the backside. Um, one thing to note as well is that these gloves are made in Thailand. So these are a Thai made glove. Um, you can see that the fingertip is all nicely packed in there. The leather is bonded nicely to the inner foam. Um, the edges of the glove look really good as well opening the velcro strap you can see that the velcro strap looks good as well you can see that it has all good stitching the piping is done nice and clean all the way to where it attaches to the actual base of the glove um, wrist support is okay you can see that it has maybe you know an eighth to two eighths of an inch of padding on the actual wrist itself um, so there's not a lot of padding I, I would like to see a little bit more thickness right there just to kind of give you a little bit more of a rigid feel around the wrist and again, the polyester nylon liner that helps away, wick away moisture. You do have the weight tag right there, as well as the Venom logo tag on the inside um, as well. Um, the tag just has some information on there. It says 10 out of 18. I'm not too sure. Maybe that's the, the batch of gloves that were made within that line of gloves. So um, quality-wise, these are really nice overall. Um, the Velcro on the, the back of the hand is, is nice and grabby. It doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, whatsoever as far as the velcro goes um, as well now comfort these are definitely super comfortable gloves once you put these on um, it has a really broken in feel you can see that I can open and close my hands really easily um, it's a really soft glove they're really plush feeling the thumb is in a really nice placement you don't feel like it jams at the top um, you don't feel like it's restricted inside this compartment um, the actual curvature of my hand, the way it sits inside of the glove, feels nice and natural. The fingertip compartment isn't too shallow and it has a nice depth to it. So you really feel like once you put your hand in there, you can really curl your fist over and make a really nice solid fist with these gloves. So positioning wise, they're nice. Um, the glove itself has a medium to compact profile. It has a decent amount of padding on the palm side right here. Um, again, I would have liked to see a little bit more padding on the wrist area just to make it a little bit more rigid around the wrist. Uh, but comfort wise, they don't feel too snug. They don't feel too loose. The inside hand compartment feels really good. Um, I think that these gloves would be really nice for all hand sizes, to be honest with you. They don't feel too gigantic where your hand feels like it's shifting on the inside of the glove. So it definitely feels very comfortable. I definitely like the broken in feel of these gloves. Um, and they kind of remind me a little bit about those top boxer gloves I did a review on a couple years ago. When you put your hand in it, it feels really nice and soft, almost like you're putting your uh, your hand into a, like a pillow. So comfort wise, these are fantastic. Now performance wise, these are branded as their more protective glove, That's hence the name Shield. Um, they use a triple layer padding. I believe they use a high density foam padding as well as a, a sheet of rubber to really help disperse the impact. Um, and as you can see here, the foam itself is, is medium to soft density. It's not a very dense or firm foam. So it's pretty forgiving. Um, on the bag, they work really nicely. Um, the mitts are okay. Um, they don't give you the same pop like the hammer gloves do. Um, but they still work nice on the mitts. They, you know, but if you're looking for a glove that really gives you that crack and you want that feedback, then these probably wouldn't be the best gloves for you. But if you're more of a power puncher and you really like to lay into your shots and, and just really get them in there, um, the padding on this does a phenomenal job of, of really protecting your hands. It doesn't give you the same feedback as the hammer gloves do, uh, but nonetheless for protection, um, these are the gloves that I would go with if I were to choose between the two. So. Um, uh, definitely performance wise they perform nicely especially on the bag 
Um, these would be also be great for sparring as well for, for yourself, for protecting yourself as well as your sparring partner, um, just based on the kind of foam that it has on here as well. So uh, cost wise, these gloves are $169. So um, the price of entry to these gloves uh, is pretty high up there. Um, comparable gloves that you could find on those lines are some of the higher end Sabas, Sabas gloves, Cleto Reyes, uh, Casanova. Um, so it's a lot of the higher end title or even the ring size are kind of in the mid 100 range. Um, so with these gloves and even the hammer and the um, giant 2.0 gloves, um, Venom is really hopping in into that higher tier of boxing gloves and I do think that they make a really nice glove um, I just do wish that they would redesign them a little bit for more of their own brand I guess you could say for their own boxing glove brand um, just because these look kind of similar to some of their more budget and mid-tier gloves and I wish they would do, the graphics were done a little bit differently to kind of set it apart from the other gloves that they offer um, that are under a hundred dollars and not to say that everybody wants that exclusivity but when you're asking for a glove that's you know 170 uh, and for the lace-ups the lace-ups are actually I believe 209 or 219 dollars for the lace-up so now you're over 200 dollars for a pair of the lace-up versions of the glove um, what's now that's you know really high up there as far as price goes so um, for that price you know you're really asking a lot um, and I think you should offer um, a more of a classic boxing design uh, rather than your traditional. I'm not saying you can't have your Venom logo on it, but make it a little bit more traditional looking to make it stand out from the rest of your glove collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative. If you guys have any you know, comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Uh, I'll put all the info where you can find these Venom gloves in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.